<laughs> and John's teammate, it's Russell Howard. Hello. Russell used to live with John Richardson at university, and it was living with John that actually inspired Russell to take up stand-up. Anything to get out of that flat. <laughs> we'll discuss that. He loves to be touched. Yeah. Oh, um, I know. I used to live with him. Loves mm. it. <laughs> loves every bit, don't you? <laughs> Johnny, what's the best thing about being on a team with Sean? Um, he always keeps me to time. <laughs> Always, I can feel his eyes burning into me. <laughs> oh, Other no. than that, he's very intelligent. He, he hides... <laughs> what he does, he, he, he acts like he's annoyed with life and he's, he just wants to get on and he, he's angry with, you know, lots of uh, feathered things. <laughs> you, you like to hurt pigeons and stuff. <laughs> but I'll give you 30 seconds to finish this. He agrees with me! <laughs> Seconds to finish, the clock's ticking. But that all belies the fact that um, inside he's got this creativity that he's almost embarrassed about. It's like a working class shit. 15 seconds he did that in, that's a miracle. <laughs> I felt bad for Sean because um, I'm a bad teammate because I'm bad. Um, so I got him gifts oh. to make it better so that you still want to be my friend. Um, so this is for you. No, oh, thanks. I know you love Chelsea Football Club, but I couldn't get you tickets. So I got you the next best thing. A Made in Chelsea DVD. Oh, made in Chelsea? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's Made in Chelsea, yeah. so it's brilliant guys. <laughs> yeah, just like... And they're yeah. funny and they're yeah. charming. Yeah. And they're just what I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Just pop that over there, yeah. OK. <laughs> Not the only present. Oh, really? Um, <laughs> so this is another present for you. <laughs> well, let's be honest, this is more presents than I got on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, um, this is a couple of things. Oh. Um, a hat to keep your head warm in winter, cos you don't have much hair. Um, <laughs> I've got a um, hat. And then also a framed picture. It's too fucking small. <laughs> <laughs> what I have got is a massive head. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, you know dear. what? Not a lot of people look good in that, and <laughs> yeah. you are no exception. <laughs> uh, you look like a kettle, kind of. <laughs> I do. Um, and then this is a framed photo of me and you as Harry Potter <laughs> and Hermione. <laughs> Um, oh, what? Oh. oh, that was a lovely <laughs> afternoon, I remember that. <laughs> we found out you were Hufflepuff, it was... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you can remember that. Um, Thank you very much. No, that's not it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it feels now like we're visiting Sean after some sort of dreadful accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's one of those, isn't it? It's... It's... A best friend necklace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so oh. You, you have one half and I have the other, and it's solid gold, so you don't ever have to take it off. I've never had one of these before. Nobody's ever wanted That's to. That's really to, sad, actually. Yeah. Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's, it's possible to have a friendship yeah. without having a necklace to commemorate it. <laughs> most, most people just say thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you put the necklace yeah. on for me? Yeah. Harriet? <laughs> I feel like I've been turned into something. Here. It's nice it's, for you. you. Know, my money was not on Harriet grooming you, but <laughs> <laughs> it's what's happened. <laughs> oh. I've laughed a lot, but I never actually shit myself laughing. <laughs> have you not? No. Have you ever shat yourself laughing? This young man made me do it. Do you remember that? <laughs> Uh, when did you shit yourself laughing? I remember what you said. We were at a private school, we were doing a gig, and he said something <laughs> very funny, and it just... My mouth liked it, and my arse did too. <laughs> <laughs> and then I made you laugh, and then we were worried you were going to shit yourself. Yeah. You were in a right state. But I... <laughs> but, but I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, you won that day. But... Yeah. What were you doing in a private school? It's important the kids know what happens if you don't try hard at school. <laughs> that's why we came in, with our shitty pants. <laughs> <laughs> I remember what happened now. We were both laughing, and then I stopped laughing, and then he knew. <laughs> I think I looked at you and went, I have. <laughs> what should I do? And he was like, you need to get to the bloody toilet, take your bloody... <laughs> crazy bastard, bring the bloody skull. <laughs> I 
that's what talk. I talk like. Yeah, yeah. It's a supernatural power that I have, and any of you across me this evening will be made to shit your pants like this. <laughs> well, what a member of the X-Men you'd be. <laughs> <laughs> you got another gift. You did really badly. <laughs> right, oh, I wonder what this is. Yeah. I bet you can't guess. It's a two-for-one travel together rail card. <laughs> <laughs> and you can go anywhere but only with me. <laughs> 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 Is this your last for how long? Uh, a year. Right. Certainly outlived the friendship. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Susie, have you ever had a disagreement with Rachel? Um, no, we're pretty, we're good friends, Rachel and I. We, the only time I could ever remember Rachel being a little bit miffed is because we swap bras sometimes and I think you thought I had lost one of her bras. We don't swap bras. <laughs> Susie. Oh. OK, I borrow bras. Susie just comes in and she's never got a bra to wear. <laughs> we do 15 yeah. shows and it's always just, can I just borrow your bra again? Am I, am I asleep right now? <laughs> It's not just bra, though. It's any kind of undergarments, whether it's a slip or a skirt or a little t-shirt. <laughs> this is too much for me. I can't do this. <laughs> oh, God, even I'm getting a steady. <laughs> OK, the prize the teams will be competing for tonight is this, the Countdown Tandem Mobility Scooter. <laughs> I'm the only one of us here who could really do with that mobility scooter. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you want to stop messing around and give me a good okay. fighting chance. Yeah, but, but right. it's, a, it's a tandem one and you haven't got any friends. Come on. <laughs> you don't know who you can pick up from one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, do you think you and John are going to make a good team this evening? I feel like we're going to bring some um, northern mm. spunk. I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> The, you know, because these southern burks probably <laughs> won't be able to concentrate thinking about their uh, their inflated beer prices yeah. and their hummus. Their thriving industries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Show them. Coats that they wear outside. Their fast trains and their underground trains. Yeah. Do you know what's underground here? Shit and rats. <laughs> Bill, you, you and Sean know each other well. You've been on holiday together. What, what's Sean like on holiday? Sean is uh, he's just like his normal self, you know? Except naked. Just naked, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, what sort of thing do you guys get up to when you're away on holiday? You play games? Yeah, yeah mind games. Yeah, mind games. <laughs> <laughs> Go to, like, a caravan park in Latvia somewhere, you know, <laughs> stare at each other. <laughs> we just have fun, you know. We just we can just have fun with a stick in the park sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've got fond memories of holding your hand and just running into the sea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. We sometimes do that. We just run into the ah, like yeah. that. As the caravan park burned behind us. <laughs> yeah. um, fruited. Fruited. And uh, Sean, you got the same? Yeah. <laughs> Bit well, suspect, Where's isn't that? it? No. Shame person. Yeah. <laughs> Peas in a pod. <laughs> I've got two dreams in life. One to play Countdown and one to be best friends for Sean. <laughs> well, one of those is coming true tonight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, you said before, Rachel, you're a big fan of Bill Bailey. Uh, you're also a close friend of Joe Wilkinson's. Who are you, who are you rooting for? Well, I don't know about close friend. Uh... Uh, would you call yourselves fuck buddies? Or... <laughs> <laughs> um, well, obviously, I love and adore Bill. I support him in anything he does and want him to do well, but I think Joe's probably suffered more disappointment in his life. <laughs> what, what do you mean, probably? Look at him. Well, you know, they, those two have been on holiday together, and Joe and I have actually been on holiday together yep. as well, so I've seen <laughs> firsthand. It was a creepy week for her. And, uh... <laughs> so, did you two genuinely go on holiday yeah. together? Yeah. <laughs> In Greece. To Greece? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then the whole place went to shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Johnny, and, Johnny and I um, are actually technically enemies at the moment. And uh, uh, so? this is well. The last time I saw Johnny um, was at a party, and um, he had a quick chat with my boyfriend in the toilets, and then went home with the book I was reading. 
That was my book you took home. So <laughs> you're <laughs> Yeah, we got the night bus, and I said, can I have my book? He went, oh, sorry, um, I had a really lovely chat with Johnny Vegas. Isn't he a deep man? I thought he'd enjoy the book you were reading. <laughs> <laughs> we get to the important fact here. Where was this party and why was I not invited? <laughs> it was the QI party. Have you been on QI? No. And that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, are there any Irish words or phrases that we should be made aware of that English people wouldn't know? There are lots of different phrases that uh, are technically English, but people don't understand. Like, for example, my mother um, sent me a text today. Actually, David, you could translate if, hmm. if they don't understand. Would you do that? Yeah, yeah, no problem. OK, so, I mean, it's fairly simple. She was like, hi, Ashling. Well, didn't someone on the rob leg it off with your man's messages after he's after coming out of spire because she only after horse and nagging and a pint of my waddy into her? And she was so gee eyed off her hoop that she didn't she wallop him with one of them yokes he lobbed down the jacks. The guards found the poor player hiding and shivering like an abused piebald in a hot press in a gaff, offering to give him the shift or the ride if they let her go. Ah, but you're lucky you know yourself. She was grand like. <laughs> David, what was that again? Just the police are investigating an incident in a shop. <laughs> just copied me. Yeah, no, you did. Because it's a different word, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hey, your best friends, remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, you, if, you, yeah. If, you, if, you, if you forget, just put your necklaces together, see if they fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, look, you've got to just lean over and put them together, because then it's, it's not, that's what friends do. I feel like I'm being. Groomed into a Me Too scenario here. Yeah. Best <laughs> friends. Oh, that's oh nice. you fit perfectly, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Does it feel right? <laughs> it feels so right. Yeah. It just feels right. Yeah.